Hello world, this is Barbie Lee, this is Shay Talk, and you know what I believe? I believe that life is too short to just sit back and watch it happen. I believe that life is about jumping in, having this juicy and delicious experience, having all the energy in the world, and feeling absolutely amazing. And that's what I am all about. That's why I named my business Quality of Life Assurance, because if you don't have quality of life, what kind of life are you going to assure for yourself, right? You can buy all that insurance just in case things go wrong, but how are you going to assure that things go right? That's all I'm saying. It's just a question to ask yourself, right? So today we're going to talk about saying yes. And of course, I have my Isogenics Isoline Chocolate Mint Shake this morning. And I apologize for a couple of minutes late. I usually like to be at the top of the hour, but my computer was updating. We move at the speed of computer updates. That's the way the world works. Mm. So today I want to talk about saying yes. So this weekend I was at the Calgary Franchise Expo. And we put up an isogenics booth called the Fr People's Franchise. Because that's really what it is, right? A lot of the franchises there, you needed 10, 20, 50, 100, even a million dollars, right? Thousands of dollars into the millions of dollars. And that might just be your franchise fee. And then you have like your... your um, uh, what's it called? Um, I got I got sidetracked. Someone said, "Hey, gorgeous." Um, then you have your building and your employees and all that kind of stuff, right? So I call what we do the people's franchise, and I read about it years ago, and it's basically saying that if you want to franchise this turnkey system, join network marketing, right? So we had a we had a booth there, and it was fascinating to watch the people. So we were at the end of a row, and like right in the middle of the room. So I really kind of got to watch a lot of what was going on. Oh, I have my face. There we go. Um, so I got to see a lot of what was going on. And it was fascinating to watch people. You know, they come to a franchise show and they 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 walk around like this, or they you know, and then they look away. It's like, oh my god, you're gonna steal my money. Like it's just it was so funny to watch people how they reacted and responded. They walked in the door and they were shocked when somebody in one of the booths said, Hey, how you doing? Oh, oh, don't talk to me, right? So I was giving away, um, uh, here, I'll grab one. So at my booth, because you know, you always need a thing, a shtick to give, you know, at your booth. Anyways, so I was giving away these cards, right? And some of you have seen these cards before, right? So you put that on your bedside table, and you read that side in the morning, and then this one before bed, right? So I was giving away those cards. So all I would want to do is just hand somebody some, oh, no, 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 I'm good. That's what they would do. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm like, you don't even know what I'm trying to give you. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. And I said, really? Are you sure you're good? You're just saying no to everything. You just walked into, and this one guy's like, stop talking to me. <laughs> right? And then some people go, no, no, I'm good. And I'd be like, what do you mean you're good? You don't even know what this is. What if I'm handing you a lottery ticket? Oh, uh, you know, a, a lottery ticket they would accept, but a car, you know what I mean? So it was fascinating to watch, and it was fascinating to watch with my couple of team members what their um, impressions were, how they felt about um, how people, sorry, this is crooked, my OCD, um, how people were responding to, to things at the franchise show. And it was amazing how, and then Saturday and Sunday were completely different crowds even, right? But I'm watching these people, and some people would walk right up and go, what do you do here, right? And I'd be like, blah, 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 we're the people's franchise. You know, we have an online health and wellness. Online? What is that? Wait, you mean I don't have to have a building? No, you don't have to have a building. Oh, can you tell me more, right? So people, some people came because they were really serious. They were looking for something because they want to have a different life, right? And a lot of people see a franchise on every corner, so, you know, they think franchising is the way to go. So at this event, it was wonderful to watch how, you know, even in a couple, right, one was open, the other one wasn't. I spoke to this couple who um, they had just bought, like literally they're a week from opening, and they told me what it was, but I don't know, some, some gym, some franchise gym. And I said, great. I said, you know, we partner with a lot of gyms. Oh, I can't do, I can't, I can't sell anything from the gym. I said, what do you mean you can't sell anything from the gym? It's your gym. And I know full well that franchises have tons of rules, right? 
no, 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 we're, we're only a gym. We, we, we don't do any supplements. We don't do anything. And I'm like, well, do you use supplements? Oh yeah, all the time, man. You know, he kind of does this, right? To show me like, you know, he's all, he's all, he's all tight. And I was like, but you bought into a business where you really couldn't help people nutritionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. And the wife's like, well, what do you have? And she was really curious, right? And then I kind of got to the point where I said, well, you know what? Why don't you run the gym and you run a health and wellness online isogenics business? I said, just stay away from the gym. Then he doesn't, you know, his franchise isn't at stake. You just take it outside. And they're kind of looking and they're like, okay, give me your card, right? So they were ready to say no, right? He was ready to say no because the rule said he had to say no. But who says he has to always follow those rules? Maybe in the next few years, he builds up a clientele, right? Maybe then he goes and opens his own gym that isn't under the franchise label. Then he does whatever he wants, right? So it's, so it's about looking ahead. It's about saying yes to what else is out there. I love Richard Branson. He has a, he has a quote that says, when someone, I don't know if it's Richard Branson, I see it on Facebook with his picture. Who knows if he actually said it? I've read on Facebook and somewhere else, right, that says, when someone offers you an opportunity, say yes and figure it out along the way. And that's really, really about life, right? So someone comes up to you and asks you if you want to go on a date. Well, say yes. Figure it out. Don't decide in that second that maybe that person isn't the person for you. But how do you know? right now if you're looking for chemistry and chemical reactions and stuff sure that's all you're going for is sexual attraction great then say no but what if this person draws more out of you than just a sexual attraction right and the same thing about a business opportunity or a new job opportunity or you know a friend of mine her friend says I got free accommodations and air miles I'm going to Cuba want to come she's like yeah She's a single mom of three kids. How can she, how can she make that happen? She just made it happen. She said yes and figured out the details along the way. All right? So this is all I'm saying. Taking the opportunity to say yes, right? One of my taglines, if you've ever received an email from me, it says start saying yes to the things you used to say no to. Here in Isogenics, here with the Quality of Life Assurance, we totally can help you say yes. You can say yes when you used to say no, I'm too tired. You can say yes no, I don't have the money. You can say, yes, no, I have to work, right? All of these yeses come from creating a life that you get to say yes to. So do you see how it's a pattern, right? You wake up in the morning, you say, yes, this is a beautiful day. You go in the shower and you go, yes, I'm so grateful for hot water and washing my hair and whatever else, right? All of these yeses throughout the day lead you to an amazing quality of life. But if you're doing things on the card, right, that if you're saying no, it's not what I would want to do today, well, then you're not saying yes, is it? You're saying no, I'm not. So go and do something you want to do today. And before you go to bed, ask yourself, if this was the last day of my life, is this how I'd want it to end? And if it's not, if you say no, do you get it? We're back to those no's, then change something. Because you know what? Life really is easy. It, it really is. Like, it, it's this simple we complicate it. We start thinking. We start overthinking. We start um, projecting. We start imagining. We start assuming. Oh, my God. Assuming. Ass out of you and me. Assuming, right? But really, you could truly improve and assure your quality of life if you just started saying yes to more things. Yes, I'd love to have a cup of coffee with you. I'm meeting a woman. When am I meeting her? Thursday. We... Walked into Dollaram at the same time. She goes, oh, my God, I love your coat. I said, tell, let me tell you the story. We started chatting. Now we're going to go for tea. We started to say, yes, let's meet a new friend, right? Get out there. Live life. It is so amazing. And if you're uncertain, if you have really, you're like, oh, I don't know where to begin, please reach out to me. Let me help you. It's what I love to do. So in the famous words that I used to say to my children all the time, every time they walked out of my house, make good choices today. <laughs>